In our first episode, Winter was rescued from a near-death entanglement and arrived in critical condition. But she was just beginning to fight. There was no way she was giving up. This is Winter, after all. Winter arrived at CMA pretty late at night. The way that she arrived at CMA is in a transport truck. Uh, they opened the truck. Uh, we took our time um, to make sure that everything was set to get her out of the truck and into the pool. Because once the animal arrives and gets in the pool, um, it's pretty much 24-7. She was tacoed in the stretcher. Wait, wait, wait. I love it when Abby says stuff like this. Did she just say Winter was tacoed in the stretcher? I, I heard that too. I thought I just... Heard that because I was eating a taco. I need another taco, but you only got me three. <laughs> Are you gonna eat that? <laughs> she was tacoed in the stretcher, lifted out of the truck, and placed into the water and into the arms of the caregivers that were in the water. I had the opportunity to see firsthand, you know, what 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 she looked like, and I, I was a little taken back. Um, it was worse than I had anticipated. You know, it didn't make me very optimistic about you know her particular situation, but it definitely looked pretty bleak. Her tail flukes were noticeably damaged. Uh, they were flimsy. They had missing skin. Um, there was quite a bit of trauma. It impacted her tail flukes, and then also a portion of the caudal or the end portion of the uh, peduncle. Can you tell us and our viewers at home, can you tell them what a peduncle is? It's fish. A peanut. Pickle. Uh, it's the part from the back that makes the tail. Point to it right there. There you go, the peduncle. She got it, up high. Not only um, did she have injuries to her flukes, but also her mouth. Um, sustained injuries across the gum and her tongue and around her pectoral fins. Um, she just was overall in really bad shape, right? That's right. One of our major concerns is always dehydration with all stranded animals, but especially with a young animal like Winter at the time. She was a calf. She should have been nursing every couple hours, if not a lot more often. Rehydration was very important because, you know, they don't get water. They don't get fresh water from the salt water. They have to get fresh water from their diet, be it their fish or, in her case, formula. So um, the way that we can do that is by using a, a stomach tube. And we're able to feed that stomach tube down to their first stomach and deliver uh, fluids that way. So the basic protocol for rehabilitation of cetaceans is 24-hour uh, watches. So somebody was always there with her, normally several team members. Our goals were to provide her with the nutrition that she needed. And then, you know, being there for her, be it in the water or just poolside, providing her with, um, you know, some type of, of socialization with her caregivers. Winter's overcoming nature is legendary. Who do you know who overcame a life challenge? Share the story with us for a chance to be featured by Clearwater Marine Aquarium. And share this video with your friends and tune in next week for episode three. Did you do a good job? You did do a good job. Thank you. Meeting Winter was a dream come true of mine. She just gives me inspiration, hope. I have this disease called CMT. It's like MS. I had a lot of surgeries. My feet weren't moving right. They had to transfer ligaments. There was times in my life where I wanted to give up. I didn't know what to do. I started to sleeve um, three years ago. I want you guys to know how special this dolphin is. The CMA said, Bernard, we're very intrigued by your picture. We would love for you to come and interact with Winter. 
two months before I even came here, I was training harder. I was doing more weights on my legs. I was, because I wanted to be strong for this trip, for winter, just to walk down those two little steps. Something inspired you, do it.